Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Harrison, and welcome to episode six of my Recycler View um, Android tutorial. So, where we left off, we were finishing the Recycler adapter, and I got stuck right here, um, right here where we try to branch off the list row view holder, and we try to call the function get layout position. I was kind of confused on why that wasn't working. Um, let's just try it again. Let's just do it. Do it from scratch and see. Um, list row view holder dot get so I don't have get layout position in my options I only have get position and get position is deprecated so it's no longer being used and there's a couple of other ones that Google wants you to use so let's get out of that um, we'll just delete it all let's see where I made the mistake earlier go ahead and open up your gradle so I just had open but let me reopen it it's that build gradle file where we made the dependencies earlier so we open up that down here um, I hard coded in the recycler view version that I wanted. Let's go ahead and get rid of that and just put plus. Oh. So I get the plus there. And so now I'm using like all future versions of the, uh, version 7. And I'm highlighting over it now because uh, Android Studio will highlight these, just showcasing that it may be unpredictable or unpredictable builds. Uh, in your code when you kind of don't specify the version like when you specify the version then you know exactly what what function calls you you, you can make so there's kind of highlighting it and letting you know that you know, there might be some danger there but you're fine so now let's go ahead and call this git layout function call list row view holder dot git and it's not showing up. Of course it won't. We have to sync the Gradle. We have to tell we have to tell our project that we're that there was updates in there. So let's go ahead and sync Gradle. I believe everything's up to date. I believe zero errors. Errors. I, I think we're okay. Now let's go ahead. And do it. Dot get layout position. Now you can see that get position is actually crossed out, meaning that it's deprecated. Get layout position. And there we go. So for the rest of the video, we're going to be making a singleton class and a lure picture bitmap cache class. So let's get ahead, go ahead and jump into those. Again, this is just going to probably be copy and paste. So hopefully we can jump through this pretty fast. But let's go ahead and do the singleton class. Right click on your folder, new. You can put things in different packages, but again, I'm just trying to keep it as simple as possible. So um, there's not too, too many um, different classes in this. So. But anyways, as usual, new Java class. We're going to call it my singleton. Click OK. Cool. Now I'm going to have a link down down below in the description. Let me just grab it from my notes real quick. Um, and this is just going to be simple boilerplate code. On um, the singleton link, it'll be either called you know my singleton class link or my single class or my singleton boilerplate, whatever. You you should be able to find it down below. Do I already have it? Yeah. Well, let me just repaste it. Setting up a request queue. Um, what's a request queue? A request queue needs two things. Let's all stop the measure. Let's just go ahead and grab the code that we need for the singleton class. Using a singleton pattern. Um, if your application makes constant use of the network, which we kind of are. Oh, God. So, uh, so the singleton class. If your application makes constant use of the network, it's probably most efficient to set up a single instance of request queue. And we kind of are a single request, a single instance of request queue that will last the lifetime of your app. Um, yeah, because we are constantly pinging the network because we're always getting information from Reddit. And there's a few ways to do it. We're gonna do the way that's not discouraged. Um, for example, you could go my singleton extends application, but we are not gonna do that because it's discouraged from Google. Um, 
uh, and set the request queue and application on create, but this approach is discouraged. A style singleton can provide the same functionality in a more modular way. So that's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to implement the singleton class that encapsulates the request queue. And I believe the request queue is simply kind of what it says. It's um, putting things in line for what we're trying to pull from the internet. This is the code right here. Starts at private stack m singleton or private stack my singleton m instance. So let's go ahead and grab it. We'll go over it as soon as I uh, post it. Um, uh, go ahead and make all the imports again. I should have auto imports on, like I think I do, but you know, I just can Alt Enter again if you're on Mac. It's probably uh, Command Enter. Or it's option sensor actually it might be. Um, what am I missing? That's fine. Uh, Alright, so no more errors. So right up here we're just calling our variables. We're declaring them. Um, inside the context, the request queue, again declaring them. Uh, we're creating the image loader. Because again the image loader is what's gonna convert our URLs to bitmap so they can populate our recycler view. Um, well, it's going to go do a lot. This appears to be standard. Um, you can see volley down here is being called. Again, volley is the class that we're going to, you know, it's that volley jar package that we impl implemented to do the um, JSON request. We haven't gotten there yet. Again, I probably am working like completely backwards I should have jumped in the main activity first but anyways we're gonna do the main activity in probably in the next video I think because I think we're pretty much done with all the back-end work um, at the request queue get image loader image loader that's a good we'll probably use this function later um, request queue again get the request queue cool we're gonna edit this a little bit in just a second but let's go ahead and make a new class um, but yeah, this is the singleton. It's gonna really, uh, you know, put things in line for us. Uh, what do I call this? We're gonna call it the lure bitmap cache. Okay. And this will be another boilerplate code. So let's go ahead and copy and paste. Again, I'm in my notes, and this link will be in the description. And we're doing this because it's going to speed up. It's going to speed up the application a lot. Um, if you don't do this, uh, it, it'll definitely chug. I was kind of wondering the same thing. I didn't know why it was going so slow, but then this cache really, really uh, makes the population a lot more efficient. So I believe this is the code right here. Um, Again, it's provided by, by Bali. The Bali toolbox provides a standard cache implementation via the disk-based cache class. This class caches files directly onto the hard disk in the specified directo directory. Let's use image loader. You should provide a custom in-memory bitmap cache. In this. Cool. No worries. This is awesome. Let's grab it and let's move forward. Um, I don't think I have any. We only called that. So let's copy from the extends. We should be all right. Nope, not that. Um, you can see that I'm using OBS. OBS is awesome. So people use it to stream on Twitch and to put their face down in the corner and to um, you know all that, all that, all that good stuff. Alt Enter. Get all my imports in there. Awesome. Uh, so what's next? All right, so now we're gonna jump back into the singleton class and make a quick adjustment. Um, again, I want to make sure I do all this right.
From the link, you can see how to insta instantiate an image loader to use this cache. And this is what they're doing with it. So we're going to do the same thing. Let's just grab the image loader. Let's just grab this right now. Um, actually, even better, just copy it from the M image loader because we're going to be pasting it into the my singleton class and we already have these defined I believe so I think we're alright um, go back to Android Studio where's my singleton my singleton right here uh, pasted it we have an error right here put in I M context um, we're gonna delete this because we don't need it anymore oh no everything right yeah because you, you can see that M loader M image loader M image loader account fighting over what they're doing so let's get rid of the whole thing and now this is okay um, this four man issues uh, uh, we don't need these two, I believe. Yeah, let's get rid of these two. So you're seeing that, you know, this is the simple edit. And now we're using the cache system that we just implemented, and it's going to make things a lot nicer for our application. Things will pop up a lot quicker. Um, where is this? All right, so what are we doing here? Um, Standing loose, big cache. Uh, Get row, get bitmap, put bitmap, um, get cache size, display metrics. Cool. Seems like we're doing all right. Um, my recycler adapter. Everything's good except the web activity and the Reddit placeholder. Let's go ahead and find a web at Reddit uh, placeholder right now, just so I can stop worrying about it. Uh, just Google placeholder. Yeah, it's 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 gonna be a placeholder for a uh, for an image. So again, these are all placeholder images. This is fine. This is fine. Um, they're all great. Um, whatever you want to use, it could be a picture of your own face. Whatever. Um, I think that one's really good as well. But I like Reddit, um, or at least seem to find that you know, if it doesn't pop up, I want it to signify that it's kind of like a Reddit link or a. You know, it's Reddit provided. So there was one good one. Yeah, I like this guy right here. 200 by 200. Let's go ahead, do image. I'm gonna save him to the desktop. Desktop. Um, I'm just gonna call it what I want to call it. I'm gonna call it Reddit placeholder. Save. It's on my desktop now, right? Go ahead and copy, Control C, and I'm gonna paste them into my drawable folder. Control V, right placeholder. Okay. And then you see the red went away. Awesome. And so that's how we're pulling it. We're 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 pulling the um, image from the drawable folder. Uh. What else do we gotta do? Can the web activity will wait? Let me just cancel out of everything. I think we're all right. All right, next episode we'll jump to the main activity and start parsing JSON. Finally, God, what have I been doing?